Hi, welcome to this tutorial about Banktree Personal Finance, version 3. In this tutorial, I will talk to you about entering investments. If you have not seen the previous tutorials for entering transactions, then it would be a good idea to go through that first, as it gives you some familiarity with Banktree Personal Finance. Investments are accounts used to deal with stocks and shares. If you have an ISA with no share value to track, then this is not an investment and it should be treated as a cash asset. When you create an investment account, you will notice a linked cash account has been created. This is used to track your investment gain or loss and it will hold the cash value for your investments. It functions like a normal cash account. When you buy shares, the value of this account will decrease and it will increase when you sell the shares. You can also use it to schedule recurring investment transactions, although you would not be able to amend the transactions. Deleting this account will also delete the investment account. If you have existing shares which you've purchased prior to using Banktree Personal Finance, you can add the value of the total shares to the cash account as an income adjustment. To hide the linked cash account, right-click on the Accounts bar or on the tab next to the Accounts bar and select or unselect Show Linked Accounts. To set up your investment, you first need to enter your stocks or securities. Go to the security section from the Tools menu. You will need to enter a symbol. In this instance, we will use the search facility to search for the symbol. We have already selected our data source as Yahoo Stock. We then click on the search button. We look for our stock on the Yahoo website. In this case, I'm looking for the stock symbol for Google. I click on the Look Up button or whatever search tool the data provider shows. This brings me the Stock Details page. After confirming this is the correct stock, I copy the symbol G-O-O-G-L and use this in the Banktree application when it asks for the symbol. I provide a security name. If the stock is priced in the same units as the currency, then the conversion is left at 1. If it is in different units, for example, in the UK, stocks are priced in pence. In this case, the pence need to be converted to pounds, so it will be need to be set to 0 0.01. I then select the stock currency, which in this case is US dollars. I can then check if the information I have entered is correct. Click on the Check button. The result shown agrees with the value shown on the Yahoo website. If I cannot find the symbol using any of these data sources, then I need to select the option Manual Update. Manual Update means there is no price to download and that the price must be entered manually. This is entered in the price history screen by the user. I set this back to Yahoo Stock and save those details for my security. You can now start to enter details of the investment in the investment transaction register, allowing you to store actual investment activity. The investment transaction register is shown when you select the investment account. The performance and value of the investments are shown on the investment summary. The investment transactions are shown on the transaction tab. The price history and the stock history are shown at the bottom of the screen. As the securities are selected, the price history becomes populated. If there are any investment transactions for the selected security, they are shown under the Transaction History tab. Currently, there are no investment transactions, so this is not populated. 
Each of the securities will have a different list for price history. To update the price history and get the last listed price for all of the securities in one go, click on the download button. For securities that are set to manual update, you will need to enter the price manually in the price history screen. To enter your transaction details into the investment register, click on the transaction tab. Select security from the drop down list. Then you can select one of the available investment actions. Select the account. This is the cash account for the transaction. If you do not select one, then the current linked cash account for the investment transaction will be used. As with account transactions, you can select ref and description. If, for example, you selected to add a dividend, there are no shares with this type of transaction, so the quantity, price and commission fields are not available. You need to enter the dividend amount in the total field. Depending on which investment action you have selected, you can complete the quantity, price, commission and total fields. After clicking the Save button, the transaction is saved. The transaction will be shown under the Transaction History tab for the selected security. The investment summary will be updated and if the investment transaction has a cash value, the linked cash account is updated. In this case, because there is no share value, the market value is zero. If you amend the investment transaction, you will see the Edit Transaction button becomes available. You have the option of moving the transaction from its current investment to a new investment account. If you want to move the cash value of the investment to another cash account, you need to right-click the transaction and select Go to Transfer. This will take you to the cash transaction. Then edit the transaction again and select Move to Account. This then allows you to select the new cash account. In returning back to the investment transaction, you can see the account value has been changed from the original to the new cash account. If you check the account summary, you will notice a chart icon next to the security. Click on the chart icon will show you the price history chart. After having entered the investment details, there are two investment reports we can use. They are Investment Portfolio and Investment Transactions. Both of these reports use the Customise option and allow you to select different filters. They use the security filters and the activity filters to filter out the investment actions. For example, we could filter the dividend payments if we needed a record of all dividend payments. You can also use subtotals or groupings to show investments with a broker, for example. Banktree Personal Finance also allows you to have securities with differing currencies with different brokers. This means the currency of the investment account does not need to match the currency of the security. The value of the investment is calculated using the exchange rate for the security converted to the investment currency. This then provides the last price in the same currency as the investment. I hope you have enjoyed the Banktree tutorial on investments. This is the end of the tutorial. Bye for now.